Okay, we're gonna get started on the wing, as I call it. I already checked the bobbin, I know I have enough thread. I know where I start on these and I always start on the top. Put her down, sink your first stitch, wrap your finger around some thread for the first couple of stitches. You can let go of that after the first couple. Sometimes you might have to manually the first couple of stitches until you get in the clear, so to speak. And then after that, now that you're in the clear, it's rock and roll time. Just hammer the thing like you're in Vegas playing the slot machines. Try to follow your stitch lines all the way around. Don't get too crazy. It's a nice big straightaway. Okay, same thing as last time. Now that I got access to the starter hole here, the starter stitch, and I'll pull it tight just to bury that stitch. Probably don't even have to do it. I'm just neurotic about that kind of stuff. All right, and keep going. Yanking and cranking, yanking and cranking, baby. I got a little imperfection there that I'm going to have to deal with. No problem. The holster will be uh, beautiful when she's done. And I also wish we had a little bit wider throat because you see my holsters here? comes up to it I gotta kind of twist them and bend them a little bit but you know what leather bends so in the scheme of problems that one's not the worst problem in the world now if I were making saddles well that might be another story but the holsters it's just um, go back into the original holes here. I'm back tacking this and done. Out, pull, get some thread, give a tug without cutting your fingers open because. I can't tell you how many times I've done that. And this thread will go through your skin right to the bone. Like you were cutting a cod fish with a fillet knife. All right, so what do we got? We got double stitch here. I'm working on the second stitch. This is the last one here. Again, bury your first stitch. Wrap your fingers around. Second stitch. Third stitch. Uh, I'm going to sneak into the stitch in here. And I'm going to spin her around. And I'm going to follow my other stitch line. I like to just make sure that the other stitch line is directly under the presser foot. Gives me a good guide. I use the presser foot as a guide. Turn it around. 
once again, eesh, pull it tight, cut off the extra thread. I'm sweating, this thing gives you a little bit of a workout, huh? Find the line, and repeat. You don't want to get your fingers under that needle. That thing will sew your thumb to your forefinger. It's a very, very strong machine. Now I'm going back into my very first stitch. Back into my second stitch. Sometimes it doesn't catch on the back tacking so I go up and down and I don't know why it's not catching. There we go. You can feel it. I'm coming back one more just to be sure and pull. Wrap fingers, tug, and snip, snip, and there you have it, a Bernie Holster Conceal Max Pro for a SIG P220, still unfinished obviously, but this baby's going to look real nice when I'm done. I'm going to do some edge work get the edges nice and smooth with a perfect finish I'm going to shine up the leather do some sanding, some fine detail work here um, i got to coat the insides, the outside still a lot of work these holsters, I'll tell you that it takes a, a long time and a lot of sweat actually alright, well thanks for watching that's it, Bernie Holsters, I'm Phil Bernie and I'm out, bye